Hey, what is up, guys? It is your boy. I'm going to bring you another video today. And today, guys, we're going to be doing a very quick video. We're going to be showing you how to farm Special EX, the Promise Place uh, event. So, real quick, I want to say this event is kind of kind of difficult uh, if you don't know what you're doing um, and you don't have the right equips and everything. This event, more so, especially for the luck composition, is definitely more so heavily focused on the equipment than, I would say, the units, even though the units that make up the luck composition that I'll be showing you uh, are very important as well. So, uh, yeah, so real quick, I want to show you uh we'll be showing you the luck comp that we used on stream uh this involves three edrums and one mock i want to say this real quick is that yes you can do this with only two edrums and then mako fina um so keep that in mind um also i want to say too is that if you are going to be doing this with three edrums right i would highly recommend or even if you're gonna be doing this with the luck composition, you will need this equipment right here. In order to run the luck composition successfully, you will need the magical armor here. What the magical armor does is reduce our allies' damage by 10% from the enemy, and also reduce dark damage by 20% for 20 seconds. It has a 30 second cooldown, so you only have 10 seconds of downtime. Um, the reason for this is because Ash and Malia are gonna be the two main problems in this fight uh, against you know this event. So you bring this armor to reduce everybody's damage they take from dark damage. So in total, they're gonna be reducing damage by 30% with this so this can stack with itself for one but I wouldn't recommend stacking it what you actually do is you have at least one two or all three of your edge rooms bring this and what you do is uh, you coordinate with your team saying I will pop magical armor first you pop magical armor first and then after as soon as it goes away after the 20 seconds is gone you have to pay attention the next person pops magical armor then once their magical armor is gone the next person pops it and then uh you don't have to worry about timing anymore because it's going to be already on the time because you know everybody's cooldowns are going to be on or on track with each other so you can pop yours then and then just keep going in that rotation so you will always have this buff up because you will definitely need this because you will take a ton of damage in this boss fight uh so keep that in mind um if you want to know how to get the magic armor unfortunately it is a five star defense item from the gotcha equip summons i think you can maybe select this with the five star ticket uh from we got from the anniversary um i don't, don't remember if you can or not but a lot of people picked other stuff like you know litter bag and chrono and stuff like that for arena so a lot of people didn't select this armor which i don't even know if it was in there but if it, it may have been so that will be one thing that you need for the luck comp if you don't have this then you could easily do it with one edge room using this and then another edge room using a good defense item like day as jade or something uh if you but you will have to have a fina on your team you cannot do it with three edge rooms you have to have at least two of these at least to survive during this fight so keep that in mind apologize real quick about the quality the quality may not be that good it was from my stream so that's the reason why but um so that's why you can see like the sub stuff and all that stuff on the left and everything so yeah this is from my stream if you guys don't follow my twitch channel it's always in the description box below along with my snapchat and a bunch of other social media sources where you guys can talk to me interact with me and all that stuff down there but apart from that let's get back to the video so right here is the event now this event is extremely hard you can see here we have three edge rooms we have me tilt and Finn Tastico, right? Uh, I think that's uh, your name. My bad if I got that wrong. I can't remember exactly. But um, yeah, so we have everybody here. Uh, you can see that we're all running three Edrums. You can see we all have the magic armor on and we all have Arc Ignite and all that stuff. Um, pretty much this would be the comp or this equipment setup that we have on all three of the Edrums would be the go-to for this event. Um, also, in five-star magic slot, you should always have that Elmas hat on. If you don't have that, then any other five-star magic will be fine. Uh, Rail, of course, bringing Mako with Malim's clothes and Tin Cane. Uh, you don't need Malim's clothes. You could use Goku's suit if you have that. You could use... Uh, what is it ldh if you don't you know have neither one of those uh, or the uh the mask from the Ramuru event anything like that and you'll be perfectly fine uh but you will need 10k of relief you get this from the mono dark dungeon um that comes around like every month or so uh then whenever you complete the mono dark dungeon i think it's floor five is it is it floor five or is it floor seven it's one of the two it, it may be six actually i think it may be floor six um you will be awarded the tin can of relief which what this does it replenishes all light units hp by 200 hp per second for 20 seconds so it's very very strong so right here we're just going to show you how we do this um so as soon as you get into the fight uh we're going to have crazy stuff going on literally it, pretty much 
to sum it all up, Malia and Ash are going to be doing a ton of damage straight off the bat. So, literally, you are going to be needing to pop your magical armor, as you see here. Tilted was the first one to do it. Um, once Tilted's armor goes away, I think I was the second one, and then Finn was the last one, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, as soon as uh, that happens, you know, you just have to play on manual, at least for the beginning part. So, you know, all the auto doesn't pop off, like, all the magic armors at once. So... You can see right there, yeah, I was the second one, so Finn will be the last one um, as the third one. Uh, so, and then, you know, that will be the rotation going through it. So, if I wanted to right here, I could actually just turn on auto because we should be fine from here on out. So, yeah, right now you can see this is what we're doing. Uh, we have Tilted coming back with another art and everything. So, you pretty much don't have to worry about the entire fight. This is kind of like the norm of the entire fight. At least for now, you're going to be doing all this. And this is pretty much going to keep going on for, you know, a while. Now, once you get him to 50%, which actually, let me fast forward it to whenever you get him to 50%, which is right around here. Uh, we got him to 50% so you can see you know we're still fine we're all healthy and everything Mako's keeping everybody full healed uh, with 10k and also her heal right here whenever he says don't you think uh, don't you think you can win uh, so that right there means that Ash is about to go on a tear literally Ash and Malia are going to be doing crazy stuff more so Ash Ash is I think gets an attack buff during that and then also I think once you actually reach 50% because this is about like 55 60% I would say um but once you reach I think 50 or is it 30% Ash starts going buck wild so you can see here if he blinds you this is where it gets very very scary if he blinds you it's the same thing as how the Ash is currently in the gotcha. If he blinds you, he will crit you and he will do a ton of damage to you. So that's why you want to make sure you have your magical armors up. Also, not only that, you want to make sure that you have the heals going off as much as possible for Mako. That's why it's very, very important to bring Arc Ignite or any good four star support item that gives Arc Gauge. So you can constantly make sure Mako's Arc Gauge is up as much as possible. So you see right there, actually, me and Tilted pop both of our magical armors at the same time. Um, that's just because why not I guess to, uh, because you see they stacked and it actually did you know keep us alive because we didn't actually have a heal on us currently so you know it was what it is um, or it is what it is because we probably didn't do that at least probably one of us would have maybe died uh, so yeah but you see right there boom that's that and then if we actually fast forward just a little bit more you can see um, we pretty much just beat the entire fight right here. Once uh, you kind of get it going, get your rotations going on the magic armors, you're going to be perfectly fine. Now, like I said before, uh, if you do not have the magic armor, then you will have to be using the luck composition. You will have to use it with two edrums using uh, magic armor or two edrums using really good defense items. And then Fina and uh, Mako. You have to do it like that if you can't do it the other way. Also, you know, Mako will be having to use 10 cane because without it, you really are missing out on a lot of stats. Also, right here, we actually killed him before it happened. Uh, this right here where he says you had your chance. If you don't manage to kill him during that, like if you cannot kill him because he was broken at the time, that's the whole reason we were able to, uh, he's going to do a huge burst of damage to everybody. And if you cannot, at least one person cannot survive it, then you'll fail because he'll kill everybody. So keep that in mind too whenever you do this event. Apart from that though, the event isn't really necessarily too hard. Two minute 30 run, that's pretty much average for this luck composition. Like I said too, you know, if you don't have the magic armors, you're going to have to use Fina uh, in one of the slots for Edrum. So you You'll be running two edge rooms and then uh, Mako Fina. Uh, you unfortunately can't do this with you know four edge rooms. It's just not possible. You would die. Uh, so yeah. Apart from that though, guys, that's gonna be it for the video today. Thank you all for coming out, man. It's been your boy OP. We'll be back later this week. We're gonna be showcasing some units and all everything like that. Uh, later on this week, we're gonna be covering a bunch of stuff. We may even do an Ash showcase. I didn't pull him, but uh, I can. Somebody in the Discord, multiple people in the Discord have them. So I may you know hit up one of them and ask a hey, uh, somebody with a true weapon, have a very good setup. Ask them if you know. They they can join in a multiplayer lobby, maybe take them up against the Crest Palace or something like that. But yeah, guys, thank you all for coming out, man. It's been your bro, P, and out, guys. Peace.